The Trouble Roundabout, as we know it, will soon take on a new name and new look. It's one of two major activities taking place this weekend in Grenada. The roundabout, located to the lower end of the Maurice Bishop Highway, will be renamed the Caricom Roundabout in honor of the organization's 50th anniversary. Press Secretary to the Prime Minister, Nela Etienne, was a guest on GBN's To The Point program this week and spoke about the renaming. Point, I want to say that the CARICOM Heads of Government meeting takes place on July, July 28th through the 30th. July 28th, we have two major activities happening. So at 3 o'clock, we're opening the CARICOM Roundabout. And if you've, if you've been traveling along the Grand Ants Main Road, the Morris Bishop Highway, um, that roundabout in that area just before you go to um, True Blue, yes. um, that will be renamed as the Caricom Roundabout okay. in honor of Caricom turning 50 and Grenada turning 50. All right. Um, so, so that's the Caricom Roundabout that's happening. Um, so um, just be on the lookout. There might be some traffic traffic arrangements for that just for about an hour just so we have that that ceremony and we um and the heads see that the heads of government uh, will be present at that activity as okay. well. The opening ceremony of the Caricom Heads of Government Conference hosted at St. George's University will feature addresses by the outgoing chairman of Caricom, His Excellency Mohammed Ifam Ali of Guyana, the incoming chairman of Caricom, Prime Minister Deacon Mitchell, and the Secretary General of the Caribbean Community, Dr. Carla Barnett. Um, then we move to the St. George's University um, for the opening ceremony where we will have um, a showcase of Grenadian talent and a showcase of our 50th anniversary for the heads of government and our visiting delegates. And then we move into our meeting where the, the heads of government, of course, will discuss the thematic focus, which we spoke about earlier, the food and nutrition security, climate change and sustainable development, um, transportation, CARICOM single market and economy, free movement re and foreign policy. And again, I want to stress that, of course, they will be talking a lot about climate change, especially with the passage of hurricane burial and having so much de devastation in the, in, the, in the first month of the hurricane season, right? Um, we will also be honoring um, two Caribbean nationals, Sir, uh, Sir, Sir Clive Lloyd and Roderick Re, um, Rainford. They will, be the, they will get the Order of the Caribbean Community Award okay. on, on that day, so that's something to look forward to. Curacao, Curacao will also become an associate member state of CARICOM that will bring, bring the... Um, the membership to 21. Okay. Um, so we're looking forward to that as well. Right. Um, Prime Minister Deacon Mitchell will be champion in digital technology. So we're looking forward to that. He's extremely passionate about that and, you know, just ensuring that um, digital technology um, is maximized, right, to its fullest potential for everyone, students, adults, everyone involved. And I know we recently had that cyber attack with some of the banks had yes, some issues. Yes, so I yes. think that's one of the things he will be champion championing for his tenure as chairman. Man of Caricom. All right. mm -hmm. The Caricom leaders will hold their business sessions at the Radisson Grenada Beach Resort. It is particularly important that Grenada is hosting the conference during its 50th independence anniversary celebration while the community is concluding its 50th anniversary festivities. These milestones serve as a critical and crucial reference point for leaders to shape a regional integration agenda beyond Caricom's 50th anniversary. Against this backdrop, the issue of full free movement will be a central focus as they deliberate on critical steps to advance their mandate. Notable CARICOM heads of government made this landmark decision during the 45th regular meeting of the conference. Christina John, GBN News.